Hello class, today we are going to continue with posting of cash transactions from the cash book. For this lesson you will need your textbook, your cash book and your general ledger. Pause the video whenever needed. Topic quiz. Take a minute or two to answer the following on a separate paper or page in your exercise book. Identify the type of the accounts. Number one, loan. Number two, fixed deposit. Number three, bad debts recovered. Number four, interest on loan. Number five, interest on fixed deposit. Number six, carriage outwards. And number seven, discount received. Pause the video now. Quiz answers. Loan is a liability. Fixed deposit is an asset. Bad debts recovered and income. Interest on loan and expense. Interest on fixed deposit and income. Carriage outwards and expense. And discount received is an income. Pause the video and mark your homework of the previous lesson, exercise 5.7, page 97, the cash book and general journal. We will now look at posting from the cash book, specifically the cash and bank columns. Remember, the cash book is a book of first entry and a ledger account for cash and bank. What does this mean? This means that when you record a transaction into the cash book, you are completing part of the double entry. Therefore, for every debit entry in the cash book, there is a credit entry in the general ledger, debtors ledger or creditors ledger. And for every credit entry in the cash book, there is a debit entry in the general ledger, debtors ledger or creditors ledger. Also remember, the double entry principle is applied in ledger accounts. What does the double entry principle mean again? That for every transaction, there is a debit entry and a credit entry of the same value. Posting from the cash book, looking at the discount columns. Remember, the discount columns in the cash book are not part of the double entry system. What does this mean? This means that you still need to complete the double entry, debit and credit entries for each transaction recorded in the discount columns. For the discount allowed column, the debit entry will be in the general ledger in the discount allowed account with the total of the column at the end of the month, while the credit entry will be in the debtors ledger in the individual debtors account with the individual amounts and dates. The discount received column will have the debit entry in the creditors ledger in the individual creditors account with the individual amounts and dates while the credit entry will be in the general ledger in the discount received account with the total of the column at the end of the month. Homework Exercise 5.7, page 97, number 2 Post to the following accounts Fixed deposit at Fern Bank with an opening balance of $20,000 Interest on fixed deposit Loan at one bank with opening balance of $10,500 million. Interest on loan. Discount allowed. S. Mungungu's account in the debtors ledger and C. Mubasu's account in the debtors ledger. The other opening balances you will find on page 97. Good luck and stay safe.